Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and it looks like we've got a word problem here. I'll just remind you anytime you have a word problem on the GED, you will have your TI-30XS multi-view calculator. So I've got mine at my side ready to go. Let's check it out. A science class surveyed 80 random students at their school to determine the likelihood of certain inheritable traits among the high school population. Among those surveyed, 17 had blue eyes, eight had green eyes, and two chose other as their eye color. The rest of the students had brown eyes. To the nearest percent, what percentage of students at the high school have brown eyes? Okay, guys, I'm going to start this word problem the way I always recommend you start this word problem, finding the question. Sometimes you guys get buried in information. So let's take a look. What are they asking me to look for? Well, right here at the very end, they say to the nearest percent... Okay, that's some rounding languages, but I still don't know what I'm looking for yet. What percentage of students at the high school have brown eyes? What percentage? Um, so they're asking me to find a percent. The percent of what? The percent of the students that have brown eyes. Brown eyes. Now, I'll just remind you that a percent is a very special type of ratio. It's a type of ratio um, or mathematical relationship that's always out of 100. And so um, I love to start these word problems by writing it as a ratio. And then I do the work to convert into a percent using my calculator. So as a ratio, let's talk about what ratio of the class or what ratio of the students, I should say, had brown eyes. Well, you might notice, first of all, that I have a serious problem. Not only do I not know what ratio of the students have brown eyes, I don't even know how many students have brown eyes. This information was hidden from me. I know how many students had blue eyes. Uh, that's 17. I know that um, eight had green eyes and two chose other as their eye color. But this is all I know about the brown eyes right now. It says the rest of the students had brown eyes. The rest of the students, how can I figure out how many that is uh, before I do the work to turn it into a ratio or a percent or anything else? How many students is that? How many had brown eyes? Well, let's think about this. Did you notice this number up here? It had said a science class surveyed 80 random students at their school. This 80, well, that's the total. That's all the students surveyed. Now, I might not know how many had brown, but I know how many had all the other colors. 17 had blue, 8 had green, and 2 chose other. And I think what I'll do is figure out all of those. Uh, I'm going to total them up. 17 plus 8 plus 2 are all the other colors besides brown. So let's see, 15, 16, 17. 27 students don't have brown eyes, basically. Another color besides brown. Well, if there's 80 total, you know, and all the rest of them have brown eyes, what I can do is I can start with that 80 total, subtract out the 27 that don't have brown eyes, and the remaining piece, well, they should have brown eyes. And I do get, let's see, 53 students with brown eyes. Yay. So that's the first number I need in my ratio. If I want to figure out what ratio of the students have brown eyes, I need to know how many there are with brown eyes. Now remember ratios and percentages, uh, you're comparing it to a total. So there is a total number. So now a lot of students tell me, it's got to be 100. Um, I'll do the work to turn it into a percent in a second. First, I'm writing it as a ratio. So 53 out of how many total students? Well, there was 80 total students. Now here's my number written as a ratio, not yet written as a percent. Now I can think of three ways off the top of my head to convert this ratio into percent. I'm going to do it with my lovely GED calculator. Okay, to take 53 over 80 and convert it into a percent in the GED calculator, you need the convert to percent button. Take a look at that. It's almost directly center of your calculator, just off a little bit to the right, and you're going to notice that it's in green. The convert to percent button is in green. Well, anytime you need something green for the GED, you need to press the second button. So here's how we're going to input this in our TI. You are going to type the green second button button. 
and then you're going to hit the close parentheses button because right above that is the convert to percent and then press enter okay so again I'll do it myself I'm going to type in 53 over 80 and I'm going to use the n over d button but I could have just as easy easily used the divide button and now um, I make sure you arrow out of your fraction if you're inside of the fraction and I'm going to press second convert to percent and I get that that is 66.25 percent wonderful so I found the number as a regular ratio um, a regular ratio could be out of any number and then I used my TI calculator to convert that ratio into a percent 66.25 percent and if you're wondering what the TI did like maybe you have a teacher who doesn't let you use a calculator for this all your TI did was is multiply by a hundred um, that's what it means to uh, turn a ratio into a percent or yeah and turn any number really into a percent you just multiply by a hundred percent but in order to do this by hand you'd have to know um, how to multiply and divide with both fractions and uh, um, decimals which is why it's much easier in your calculator if you can do it that way um so I get 66.25 percent now I'm almost done. I have the correct answer, but um, do you remember that there was a rounding directions? Let's go back and reread that final sentence. It said to the nearest percent. What percentage of the students at high school have brown eyes? So what does it mean when they say to the nearest percent? Well, anytime on the GED they say to the nearest unit, whether it's a percent or an inch or a foot or a student or a bus to the nearest, uh, they're asking me for the nearest whole percent or whole number. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off right at the decimal place, cutting it off right there. Consider the number you're about to throw away. A 2 is not big enough to matter. I will just drop off that 0.25 without it making a difference. And I'm going to call that about 66% of students uh, surveyed had brown eyes. All right. So final answer, 66%. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.